special day for you all to fellowship with one another and to come and get into my presence. But God says right about now, I am now getting ready to ignite my spirit on the inside of you because my word says that I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So when you get back to your classrooms, when you get back to your college campuses, I got one agenda says the Lord of hosts. It is time to unleash my kingdom wherever you go. Wow, we are so honored here at Mount Zion each college weekend. We allow the students to say to us who impacts their lives, who touches them, who inspires them. And so it is our honor. It is a tremendous honor on behalf of myself and all of these wonderful people here to recognize you as such a tremendous asset, not only to the Fisk University students, but to this community and to the world because your reach is blessing students who are touching the world. We honor you today. Let's thank God for this great man. <laughs> Mr. Linwood Berry, come on. This keeps me going. On those days when I feel like giving up. Fire. <laughs> struggle with your noise. They don't struggle with that at the stadium downtown. They don't struggle with that when the predators are playing. It's only in church can you become somewhat of an anomaly to people. Why do they act like that? What? What's, what's all it? What's all that about? what statistically may be stacked against you. It doesn't matter who may be ahead of you. It doesn't matter what people may say about you. If the it factor's on you, it'll get you elected to president when people think it could never happen. If the it factor's on you, it can make you break records in R&B. If the it factor's upon you, it doesn't matter who hates on you, God will always raise you up. Look at somebody tell them, it's just on me, it's just on me. I come to speak the it factor over somebody's life and tell you, your future is so bright. Some of you come here today. You're wondering, Bishop, and where do I go from here? You're telling me it's on me? You don't know the stuff I'm dealing with every day. You have no idea the challenges and the things that are confronting me every day that make me want to give up every single day of my life. If it's not this, it's that. If it's not this, when I would do good, evil is on every hand. Bishop, how can I make it? Well, you need to make it knowing that God will provide for you. The word weave in Hebrew is the same word meant. That text can read, what you thought evil against me, God weaved it for my good. Some of you have a lot of experience in weave. 
You see, weave ain't always a bad thing. Because what the weave does, the weave makes what doesn't look right look right. Tell somebody, ain't nothing wrong with a little weave. Uh -huh. And see, when you, when you really, when you really paying attention, I don't care how good the weave is, we know it's still a weave. Because there's no way you could come in here with short hair on Monday and hair down your back on Wednesday unless you've been by the weave. I'm gonna help somebody up in here today. That's unbelievable. I'm gonna help somebody up in here today. I've been changed. Now the thing, the thing, the thing is, listen, hubris or pride goes before destruction. Don't you miss this moment worrying about what somebody's going to think about you. But today, get to this altar. I'm not giving up on my promise. I'm not giving up on my promise. I'm not giving up on it. I'm not giving up on it. I'm not, I'm not giving in. I'm, I don't care what happened. I don't care what somebody did to you. I don't care how bad the situation may be. Somebody out there can be a witness. God can turn it around. Do I have a witness out there that knows that God can turn it around? You don't have to let it in now. You come too far. You're almost there. Deliver, Listen to what the Lord yeah, says. People of God, right before your greatest breakthrough is your greatest season of pressure and stress. Right before that thing turns around is when the enemy tries to break you because he knows this is his last chance. But that devil made one mistake. He let you get here today. And we're gonna declare victory over your life. I wish somebody would give it glory. I wish somebody would give it praise in this place. Right now, hey. right now oh. is the moment. Now. Today now. is Woo. the day. Come on, I'm with you. Right now, lift your hands at this altar. Lift your hands at this altar. Lift your hands. And think of your hands as an act of surrender. It is an act of saying, God is too heavy for me. What I'm dealing with is too much pressure for me, but I give it to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now for every life at this altar. Every life at this altar has been preordained for greatness and destiny. Now I speak life. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Satan, take your hand off of God's people. These are future leaders. These are people that are going to change the world. And devil, you have no authority in this place now. In the name of Jesus, God will wipe every tear from your eye now. He's going to make everything you went through make sense now. In the name of Jesus, I hear the Lord saying, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper now. That everything that happened to you, it happened with a purpose now. In the name of Jesus, Lift up your head now and stop walking around as a victim. Declare that I am victorious now. What did not kill you only made you stronger. In the name of Jesus, we declare the victory now. Victory in our career. Victory as we matriculate. Victory in our family now. In the name of Jesus, I speak against the spirit of suicide now. I declare it now. Those pills will not go into your body. I speak against it now in the name of Jesus. God says he's a God of a second chance now. In the name of Jesus now, declare over your life. You are fearfully, you are wonderfully made now. In the name of Jesus, what has been, has been. But your best days are ahead of you. 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 And I declare over your 
almighty in the name of Jesus, I declare today that you shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above and not beneath. You shall finish what you started. You shall go for what God promised you. Now in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree it now. No more low self-esteem. No more suicide. No more self-destruction. I come against it now. I come against the drug abuse. I come against the alcohol abuse. I come against the generation of curse now. I break it now. Break it now. In the name of Jesus. I break it now. I, I see you coming, but this is what I hear the Lord saying. And I want you to hear this, and I'm going to let this go. Shh, listen. There are... I want you to hear this. There are at least 20 men that God is calling you into the Joseph blessing. Here is the problem though. You're attaching yourself to stuff that's pulling you away from what's inside of you. But I hear the Lord saying all along, you've known you were different. You've been in the midst around a lot of people and you've been wondering, why am I here? Why am I doing this? But can God use somebody like me I've come to tell you today, there are some men that God is speaking to, some young men, and God is saying that blessing is on you. Don't abort what God has begun. Today, this is the moment, this is the season, and you gotta be willing to step out and be the man that God has called you to be. Get to, that's it, come, come now, come. I know, I know what God said. Come on, that's it, here they come, here they come. Man, when men get it right, when, when men get it right, come, come. I'm telling you, when, when men get it right, when, when, when men get it right, here they come. Come on, come on, that's it, that's it. You know it was on you, you know it was on you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You know it was on you. Glory, glory, take your rightful place. That's the 